Hey folks, I think it's going to be a little while before I come back to Twitter, so I figured I'd just kind of address the shit going through my head. For those of you that don't know me, I'm autistic, um, I grew up Jewish, I served my country in the U.S. Air Force, and right now I am absolutely appalled, appalled by the behavior of so-called Americans in this country. Did your balls drop off? Did you forget how to have a little bit of integrity and honor? When it was it cool for the people fighting the good fight to take plays out of, you know, Trumpers' playbooks, start acting like a bunch of assholes? Is that how you turn people from the dark side to the light? Fight fire with fire? You're only stoking the fire higher. Being kind is not that difficult. Being compassionate, sympathetic, is not that difficult. You want to fight the good fight? Fight the good fight because you want to. Not because everybody's doing it and it's the in thing. You want to take, take a to play out of a playbook? Take it out of Daryl Davis's playbook. The guy who was turning KKK members away from racism. A black man turning people away from racism by being, what, an asshole? No, by being kind, by being compassionate, by showing a little level of respect and understanding. That's what America used to stand up. We used to stand for people helping other people. Not because it got us brownie points or likes, because we knew at the end of the day it's what was going to make our world work better. I don't know what happened to half of you, I really don't understand how you think that being an asshole is going to turn somebody away from their illegitimate and illogical points of view. And it's even worse for the kids of those people who are looking, trying to figure out what adults are doing since adults are all acting like a bunch of indignant children. If they look at you and you're behaving just like their parents are, you think they're going to go over to you and say, I've got your side, my parents were so wrong. No, they're going to say, my parents were right. You're all a bunch of fucking assholes who don't love this country. If you love this country, do better by it. Do right by it. Do right by the people around you. Be a lot kinder. Open a door for a stranger. Start up a conversation with someone you don't know and typically would not associate with. You'd be surprised how many people have this look of shock and awe when I talk to them like normal people in a fucking quick trip. When they're so used to people just being rude and indignant. Starting up a conversation. Actually, honestly wanting to know what their opinions on the way the world's working is. Y'all can do better. You should do better. Because if you want to save the world, you're not going to do it with a fire and brimstone approach. It's just not working. Have you all not learned anything? Do you think social media gives you a free pass to just be a jerk because you think there's going to be no consequences? There's always consequences. Your behavior is going to inspire others to behave just like you. It's not hard stretch. It's not hard logic. It's pretty simple. Be a better person. Inspire other people to be better people. I try not to be emotional and I not, try not to rely on those things because emotions tend to lead people in the wrong directions. But you all have got me so damn disappointed and depressed by your behaviors and your mannerisms and your actual lack of care for anything other than yourself, your perspective, and if you're following the it crowd, come on. When is it going to stop? When do you think the world's going to get better with all this vitral going around? Grow up. Behave better. Inspire your kids to be better. Call out your politicians. I mean, bombard the fucking hell out of them and tell them, you're an elected official. I expect you to act like one. 
if you're going like, to act like a jerk-off celebrity on national TV instead of actually doing your job and inspiring people to be just as negative and aggressive as you are, I'm going to vote your ass out. And I'm going to tell all my friends to vote your ass out. Start holding the people accountable that need to be held accountable. But once you've critiqued them, once they're down, don't keep kicking them. That's not the American way. That's not, that's not kindness. That's not fighting the good fight. That's you being a jerk just for the sole purpose of feeding your ego. Please, for God's sakes, do better. Try harder. I care about every one of you. I really do. That's my biggest weakness and my greatest strength. I really want everybody in this world to have a good life. But that can't happen with just one or two people. That takes all of us collaborating. Competition has never worked for us. That's not how our species works. So please, please hear what I'm saying. Digest it. Think about it. Don't react to my emotional state. I'm trying my hardest to understand why people are the way they are. And it's really difficult coming from an autistic perspective to understand why you all think that autistic people are the weird ones. Bless America. And I really hope we can get out of this with our asses intact. Peace.